Hello, uh, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about this book that I wrote. Um, it's called Howl. It's a short little retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. And it also, this book also includes the knitting pattern for this hat. It's called Meet the Wolf. I'm going to put the focus on that. Um, it's a it's a nice uh, cabled, kind of a broken cabled pattern beanie. Um, but you, if you're not a, not a knitter, that's totally okay. You do not need to knit the hat, obviously. But um, I put it in there because it, it goes with the story and um, I just really like making my own knitting and crochet patterns. But this book, like I said, has a short retelling of Little Red Riding Hood. Um, it has the, the pattern in the front. And then uh, just past that, it goes um, into the story. So this, this copy... Um, looks slightly different than the one you'll get if you actually order this. You can order these from uh, off of Amazon, but um, but yeah, this is like my test copy, so it looks slightly different. Um, but content-wise, they're the same. Um, goes into the story, and then. At the end of the story, it starts the uh, the journaling section. So it has this section here um, with um, journaling prompts. And then it has the rest is just lined blank pages. So you can journal inside of here if you want to as like this is a little workbook, the whole process. Um, if you're doing the knitting pattern, it has um, space for you to uh, plan out your pattern, your yarn, your shopping list, your notes, whatever you need to get to make that. Um, and then the journaling, because this, like, it's not very big. It's just a little book. But um, it's, it's a process. It's a journey. Um, it's called Howl, A Story of Transformation. It is a knit hat pattern and guided journal. Um, I really like this book. Um, I like the idea of this kind of book. And I'm thinking about making more of these um, with different kinds of patterns or different... Um, creative little projects in them. Maybe it's not always a knitting pattern. Maybe it could be like uh, some watercolor painting or you know some other kind of something or a photography project or you know just whatever kind of cool shit. I, I do a lot of different things so um, but I find these are really fun and obviously if you choose not to write in it and write out in your own journaling. I mean, you could go over these journal prompts um, as many times as you needed at different points in your life because um, the way I have done this little uh, retelling of Little Red Riding Hood is that it focuses on being at the start of a journey, the start of something, the start of something new, whatever. And so that could be happening at any point in our life. And like, yeah, Little Red Riding Hood is traditionally, it's a little girl, but we stand on those thresholds of newness repeatedly throughout our lives and so we can always go through this process of uh, deciding to you know cross that threshold start on a new path going you know getting lost in the woods and wandering around and finding our way um, so yeah so the journal prompts you could use them 
over and over again at different points for different things or whatever. So yeah, so this is um this is on Amazon. It's published under my my actual grown up name. Um yeah, so check it out if you're into that kind of thing. Um if you're interested in this type of book but maybe not a knitting pattern, like I said, it could be crochet, um, some kind of like watercolor painting or art journaling or, you know, photography related thing, some other kind of thing. I mean, I don't do like, I don't do sewing. So if you want a sewing thing, I don't sew. I suck at sewing. I've tried. We're not friends. Um, but <laughs> let me know. And you can, um, you see about making more of these little books because I don't know, they're fun, they're useful. Um, it's it's not anything like super difficult. And like I said, if you're not into knitting, you don't have to do that. It's just it included in there for somebody who wants it. But if you don't want it, you don't even have to look at that part at all. Okay, so um, find it on Amazon. Let's see, I know it keeps trying to focus on my face. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And if you do decide to get it, and also you can get, if you don't want a physical copy like this, you can also get it just a digital download from my website. Um, but I'll put the information for that too. So yeah, check it out. If you get it and you know let me know if you like it do you want are you interested in these kinds of little little books 